spirit of the outdoors. Thought I'd make a little charcoal. Figured I needed to save myself two, maybe three dollars. So I busted up all of this short pieces of wood that I had uh, before it rots because it's been just laying out here. So I got this little red small barrel and I'm gonna fill it up with this. Now this is all hardwood chunks. It would be better if it was probably, this was all cut in half, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna attempt it like this. Uh, and I'm not gonna just try to chuck it as just you know, full as I can get it. I am gonna, the bottom part, I'm gonna try to stand some of that up if I can, but I'm not gonna worry about this. I tie it, I can pack it. I don't know how much difference it makes. Some of it, most of this is oak. However, some of this I know that's got these worm holes all in it. This was pecan, so. I don't know, if I get all this in there, I may order pack it tight, I ain't. I may wind up having more of this wood than I thought I did. I thought it was gonna, take a big heat to fill that barrel up but it may not let me stick all this in there let's see where i'm at but if i have to uh do another cooking of it, it it won't hurt my feelings some of this stuff is a little punky i don't know if it'll make charcoal or not and I don't know if the bark matters. I've never done this, so I ain't really teaching you how. I'm just kind of showing you how I'm going about doing it, you know. Yeah. Well. I believe that's going about do it right there. We got a bunch of pieces. We'll have to do another cooking. All right, well, let me roll this around there, show you how I'm gonna get set up. Oh, so you set this full of wood up on that right there block. And I took my angle grinder, my cut off wheel. I put my safety glasses up here on my head like this, and cut the top of that barrel out. There's a little bit of oil left in it, but for what I'm doing, it won't hurt nothing. So then you do this and see your lid is there pretty close. So then what you can do is you can kind of didn't work for me like that. Let me try this again. I like to got it. That may be why I need to pack it more tighter so it don't come out of there like that. Ready? Let's try it again though. We ain't one to give up. The whole deal is, is you gotta have that may be why it needs to be so tight right there. So it don't all come dumping out in the bottom of that barrel. Cause you don't want the fire to get up in this. See what I'm telling you here, hand? Stay in there. Oh, we got it then. Ah. Yeah, buddy. Yeah. Ah. 
now I'll let you look. So what we've got is this barrel upside down now in this. So now what you do is you go to filling around this with dry twigs. Let me fill all this up with brush. I'll be back with you. Pine cones will work. Anything at this point to burn. That right there is a little bit green. So if you got a brush heap you need to clean up, I do this fairly close to that. about got it full of brush all around that barrel pack pretty good and on top they might be a little oil in that I don't know sometimes these pine cones will burn but now we've had a good bit of rain the last few days so that has got some oil in it See if that'll caught up right there. Pull that brush kind of over the top of it. It should go to burning. So y'all with this, I really don't have no idea how long it'll take to, to finish. You believe that thing went out? Well, sir, we're gonna have to get some pine straw. I hate to have to have to do a fire to how to I thought sure I'd just light some of that and it'd just go to burning. We will get it nevertheless. Oh But as I was saying, I don't really know how long it's gonna take this to make charcoal. I'm gonna probably keep a fire going for a while. There is a small hole in the bottom of that round barrel, which is ideal. So what I'll do, as long as there's smoke coming out of it, it is exhausting gas and moisture and stuff out of that wood. So we will try to keep a fire going to that happen. So what I'll do is come out here around, pick up limbs and throw stuff in there. And I don't know what all I'll have to burn to make this happen, but I've been wanting to turn this barrel into this and use these two barrels to make my own charcoal to cook on is what I'm making. I'm not making black powder charcoal because I wouldn't near about need this much. I can make it in a little old tin can for what I'd make. This is making charcoal for me to cook on, put in my grill and cook with. So we will see what happens here. I have seen some people do this method and it works for them. so. This is not an original idea. I think the first person I seen do it this way was uh, Duke over at Rough Cut Homestead. So I don't, I don't want to steal credit, and I don't know where he got the idea. And I've seen other people do it. Since here, one old boy about cut his finger off trying to do it, chopping wood, and you know he he needed a pair of them safety tip gloves on. You know, folks have scolded me about the axe or the shoes and. I guess they thought these little old moccasins I'm a wearing today would slow that ax down. Afraid not. And a pair of gloves just about ain't gonna keep you from hacking a finger off either. <laughs> yeah, I like them safety police. They my favorite people. Cause I know I give them fits. <laughs> and don't bother me, not one bit.
I just chuckle and read the comment, block, delete, go on about my business. So hopefully this burns off down into that. We'll see how it happens. Y'all stick around. I may have to go get my new axe. Maybe not. May have to put some holes in the bottom of my barrel down there. I hadn't done that. Let's see how that does. I bet that flame starts dropping on down in there now. Turn the wheel. Where did you get that? At the boat dock where we... Mr. Randy that we baptized gave that to you? Yeah. Brody's playing with remote control boat. Independent thinker. Y'all would see the comment as gave to him. You gonna get it? He done run it up on the brink. On the bank. <laughs> Look at it. At least it's over here where it's clean. There you go. Better back it up. Push it forward. Push it forward like that. Y'all ask me why my britches is wet up like this. Couldn't be because of them weeds over yonder.
Y'all see that gas burning off as it comes out of there? We know it is forevermore making charcoal right now because it is burning the gas off. Didn't you? you gonna see how charcoal done? Y'all, we fixing to find out what we got him. Now we got a bunch of ashes in the bottom of this, so I'm gonna turn this over. And it feels like it's still warm. It's done good. Man, yeah. Now it's condensed down to about right here. So you basically, this barrel will make about a sack full of these coals and all steel down in there. I need to dump that out, but I'm going to let it off. Uh, that's all well and all these pine in there. As long as I could use it to buck my hide. So y'all look at him. Let me get the camera and I'll show you a little better. So y'all, you see how light this is? Well, you can't tell how light, but. I mean, you see that? That's charcoal. Let me get my glove back on where I don't get too big. I'm gonna put it in this corn sack. I don't know the best way to probably just like that. It's hard to pour anything in a sack by yourself because the top ain't gonna stay open the way you need it. full of charcoal. So if y'all looking for a way to make your own charcoal, this way works. Now I got me a good barrel too to burn my boxes and stuff in. I'm going to set this back over here out of the way where it don't rust up in the rain and all. Y'all this way right here works for making charcoal. So remember, the best way to do things is the way you like to do it. Thank y'all for watching Spirit of Outdoors. We'll see you next time. Y'all have a good one.